we are we are here for the last three days and uh, we are meeting quite a number of companies over here uh, roughly about say 40 to 50 companies that we would have met uh, or i would say each and every meet, meeting is unique and it is really rewarding i would hmm. say but any sectors in specific <coughs> which you are targeting and exactly focused on? Uh, predominantly i would say on the manufacturing sectors but we are not restricting our interest only to a particular sectors we are also open for discussions on many sectors because Tamil Nadu, as you know very well, mm. has got a long, um, uh, uh, I mean, I would say a, a traditionally strong uh, manufacturing base with respect to the uh, engineering um, field as well as uh, textiles, uh, leather and uh, electronics, etc. Mm. And we are also interested in the emerging uh, technologies like fintech or our uh, data centers. And our main emphasis is also on the uh, green energy this time. Mm -hmm. So in this context, we have been able to talk to many potential investors across the globe who mm. uh, come over here. And we have initiated dialogues uh, to have uh, to bring it to a logical conclusion. So when, when, when can we expect a logical conclusion? And is there, uh, is there an amount that you can give me, a ballpark, in terms of the kind of investments that you hope to close? Actually, uh, not really in terms of investments. Uh, the talks will uh, eventually pave way for further understandings in terms of uh, a memorandum of understanding, mm. which needs to be signed uh, in the presence of our Honorable Chief Minister. Our Chief Minister was supposed to uh, mm. attend uh, this summit, but due to some unforeseen developments over there in the state, he was not able to uh, mm. make his visit. So on his behalf, I am representing the state of Tamil Nadu. Uh, these uh, meetings, such I had uh, already told you, know, these are all very fruitful meetings. Uh, we were able to talk to many people, mm. and we are also, uh, uh, we are in a larger perspective, this, this has given an opportunity to put uh, Tamil Nadu on the map mm. to make others understand the unique advantages of uh, coming and investing uh, in Tamil Nadu. So what will be the unique advantages? Because every yes, yeah, every I, investor is going to weigh the options and you've yeah. got six states vying for attention here. So uh, what will be the competitive See, the advantage that you offer? the main advantage in Tamil Nadu is, as you know, Tamil Nadu is the actually uh, the economic powerhouse of the country. We are the second largest economy in uh, Tamil Nadu, contributing to about 12% of the GDP of uh, the country. Which means what? We have got a manufacturing base. Tamil Nadu is known for its uh, strengths in the manufacturing field and especially the technical skill. Tamil Nadu is one state where you can find an, an amazing uh, technical skill and uh, the quality of the technical people that we are producing, it is much sought after across the globe. So many companies who are now coming to Tamil Nadu, they are coming for uh, the um, inherent uh, advantages and strengths of uh, Tamil Nadu, knowing very well that it is always easier. Mm. And as far as uh, the ease of doing business is also con concerned, mm. uh, Tamil Nadu plays a, an important role. So many investors who have already made uh, Tamil Nadu as their choice, mm. they are now quite satisfied. And a word of mouth is really going about. But on issues like land, uh, on issues like uh, incentives as far as stamp duty, etc., are concerned, I mean, those are also going to be aspects that investors will consider. Yes. So, what's the what's the package uh, that yeah, you're we offering? We have a different packages for uh, each and every industry. It is uh, sort of we have got uh, standard packages which will suit uh, for a particular sector. Uh, if it is an EV manufacturing sector. We have got different policies for every sector too. And these, uh, in addition to the structured policies, we are also giving some customized to, uh, incentive uh, packages also, depending on the uh, Size requirement. Size of the investment. Yes, of course. And we have got uh, an agency under the uh, industries department called SIPCOT, which is a nodal agency for the allotment of lands, the mm. industrial lands. And Tamil Nadu, we have got the um, majority of the, I would say, the largest land pool mm. in the uh, country where uh, we can uh, make available the required land parcel to the uh, investors. So all these things are, they are really make it uh, uh, more attractive packages, uh, be it the land or other capital subsidy incentives or the ease of doing business or making the regulations easier for them to uh, getting these uh, the, these things done expeditiously, mm. the government's involvement actually. Mm. So all these things make it uh, more attractive package.
you know, you said that you've been speaking with investors and active conversations, active dialogue is underway. Are these uh, already investors who have invested in Tamil Nadu or in India who are looking at making fresh investments, incremental investments, or are these fresh investors who don't have any assets or any interest in Tamil Nadu currently, neither in India? No, no, no both are interested. The people who have already invested, who have their business operations already established in Tamil Nadu, they are quite satisfied with Tamil Nadu and they are uh, considering Tamil Nadu uh, for their future expansions. Too. So in those terms, we are also talking to them for uh, their uh, future expansions, if any. Mm. In, at the same time, we are also talking to the uh, new investors mm. uh, who are uh, lo now looking at uh, Tamil Nadu for their uh, business opportunities. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, both way we are working with uh, both the sectors together. Uh, I want to understand from you uh, what the situation is like uh, in terms of demand at this point in time because that will of course impact uh, tax buoyancy for the state as well. Uh, and there are several fiscal considerations that the central government and the state governments are going to have to consider. The centers cut excise duties yes. and of course uh, uh, the, the, the push is now to get states to do so. Uh, there is of course the question about GST compensation which is yet to be addressed. So uh, how how complex is the situation at this point when, in time? When there is a will, there is a way I would say that. I do admit there are uh, issues over there with respect to the GST or with respect to the XX duty issues and other things. But even otherwise, nevertheless, I would say that Tamil Nadu still remains to be uh, one of the, uh, the most uh, preferred destinations for investments because we provide uh, uh, stability for our uh, investors. We, that, is instilled, uh, that has instilled a sort of a confidence uh, in the minds of the in investors that the Tamil Nadu government will be of help to them. Tamil Nadu government is a proactive government which will mm. de definitely come to for their support. If there is any issues uh, in addition to the mm. uh, fiscal issues which you have mentioned, Tamil Nadu government will always be there with the investors to support them. And of course, when it comes to the question of the fiscal mm. issues, things are things needs to be sorted out through dialogues. You know, since the start of uh, your government's uh, tenure uh, in office, uh, what has been the fresh investments that uh, the state has been able to tie up? As you know, we had uh, taken power in uh, May uh, 2021. Only about 12 months have gone. Within this short span of time, uh, we have now entered into uh, 131 memorandum of understandings by which we have attracted an investment of, to the tune of around 70,000 crores, uh, which will eventually uh, promise an employment for about 20 to 2 lakh people. So this is the uh, overall structure, I mean, the figures I could give right now. Mm. And we wait, to, we, 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 we wait for uh, even more to happen. So uh, you leave Davos feeling hopeful and confident of being able to yes, close these conversations? Yes, yes. We are quite hopeful and the discussions what we had in Davos will eventually pave way for uh, the future expansions and the future plans uh, which will uh, help uh, the Tamil Nadu uh, state to grow. Mm. You said this is your the state's first time here uh, in Davos. In fact, it was uh, the former Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Chandra Babu Naidu, who really started this movement of states coming to Davos. Andhra Pradesh for many, many years was the only state here uh, in Davos, along with, of course, the central uh, government. Uh, but uh, why why did you feel the need to, to be here? See, the main thing is, Tamil Nadu, we will not uh, want to miss any opportunity this time. See, you see, all our neighboring states are taking part. And Tamil Nadu, we will never leave no, I mean, we leave no stone unturned in achieving our goal of a trillion ec dollar economy by 2030. So this is the mandate, this is the uh, vision given by our Chief Minister when we took our part. So we should also provide employment opportunities for our uh, the students or the younger generation of our state. So the best way to reach out to the people and to bring investments, thereby we will give all the, uh, not only the economic growth, but also the uh, social growth for the uh, state. Well, we wish you the very best of luck. Thanks very much for stopping by here in our studio in Davos. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much. It's a wonderful opportunity to be here. Thank you so much. Well, that is the Industries Minister of the State of Tamil Nadu taking us through the conversations that they've had with investors here in Davos, hoping that those uh, conversations will result in deal closures as well. We'll take a break. There's a lot more coming up. Don't go anywhere. We're back in a moment with a lot more.